live from Goodman Diamond in Madison, Wisconsin. It's the 30 and 15 Wisconsin Badgers against the 19th ranked 36 and 13 Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's a chilly and damp day here in Madison. The temperature is in the 40s right now in the upper 40s. It is a very overcast day. There's a bit of a breeze blowing out to center field. And we are hopeful that we can get both of these games in without interruption. But weather is expected to be something of a nuisance throughout the day. We have pass against Illinois. One two from Lockman. Hewitt takes over the inside corner. A called strike three. And Emily Lockman just sliced through the Badgers. Gar goes to work in her first one. Mike lays down a button right in front of the plate. Gar's going to have to grab it for the first. is way late. And MJ plugs for a single. Field. Taylor swings it, hits it high in the air, deep to left center field, gone, red slam, Edwards wins the epic battle, four to nothing, Cornhuskers. My, what a start for the big red, Taylor Edwards wins the lengthy battle between herself and Cassandra Dar. The 3-2 from Lockman, Massey swings and it's a high fly ball to center, Stokes to her right, backing a little and she makes the catch for the first down here in the bottom of the second inning. 1-1, Woolman swings and shoots a ground ball past the third baseman, on into left field, a base hit for Cat Woolman. Tatum swings and it's high in the air, deep to left field, Massey going back, it is gone, a towering two-run home run from Tatum Edwards, and it is seven to nothing Nebraska. That is the 13th time in their careers, and the fourth time this year, Taylor and Tatum have homered in the same game, seven to nothing Nebraska. Joan Armstrong, she lays down about the first base side. Far to her left is the pitcher. She shovels the first, not nearly in time. It's a bunt single for Alicia Armstrong. It's running for Mueller at first. The pitch swinging a ground ball by Massey to first. Tyson has it, throws the second for one. Armstrong to first, not in time for the double play. Delivers the first one. Mueller swings and winds this one to left field, down for a hit. Massey, the left fielder, had to flip it over to her right. The one ball pitch, Stokes swings and lines it over the glove of the shortstop. On into center field, Muir to second and holding. But Kiki absolutely blasted that ball to the left of straightaway center. Haley, first one from guard. Decker swings and it's a high fly ball. Deep to left field. Gone! A monstrous grand slam from Decker. 12 to nothing, Nebraska. Decker absolutely crushed that ball over the left center field fence. Coach Ravel, Coach Miller, and I decided that I'm going to do 20 burpees for each flyout. So since I popped up two times for the first two at bats, I had 40 burpees, and then we went double or nothing that at bat. And I was just like, "Don't, don't hit a pop fly, don't hit a pop fly." So I guess I threw my top hand pretty well and went out. So to score four and one extremely long at bat, um, and for it to be Taylor, she's just a leader in general. So. Um, just to see her kind of go through that whole thing gives the team confidence and we feed off her. One and two the count, Lockman brings it home, the pitch is over the inside corner, a called strike three to Krister. Nebraska wins it by a dozen over Wisconsin and they win their 11th straight game. What an impressive showing by the Big Red. Nothing to figure out right now except how we're gonna skate it all in the right order and in the right way because the Huskers, everything going right for the Scarlet and Cream. They win this one by a final score of 12 to nothing. Live from Boland Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska, it's the 17, 35 and one Indiana Hoosiers against the 19th ranked 37 and 14 Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's a fairly nice day for softball, somewhat more overcast than we thought it would be, but the temperatures are into the 70s. It's finally starting to feel like spring and not a moment too soon. We enter the final week of the regular season. Four shutouts in a row for Emily. 1-1, one, one. Lulich hits a weak ground ball to third. Knight takes it just on the fair side of the line and throws it first in time. The one two on the way from Lockman. Three goes, watches the change up over the inside corner. Called strike three, and Indiana is gone. One, two, three. Molson Stokes swings and lines it past the second baseman. On into right center field. Quickly to her left, Meyer to cut it off. Stokes trying for second. The throw skips away from the shortstop. Stokes into second with a double. And the Huskers have a runner in scoring position with two outs here at the bottom of the second. Brings it home. Halix swings and lines this one into right center field. And it'll get down for a base hit. Knocked down by Lalich, the right fielder. She kept coming in into her right. Remarkable years. 
Lockman with a 3-2 pitch. Chirigos started to go and went around on a pitch over the inside corner. First strike three. Lockman has really tied up these Indiana batters. Kelsey Dotson, the batter. She swings this one. Grounds to third tonight. She has to throw the second for one. Decker's turn to third. is in time. Double play. 5-4-3 around the horn for Nebraska's 19th double play of the year. And the Hoosiers are done in the fourth. One ball pitch from Lockman. Swinging a ground ball back to the pitcher. Juggled by Lockman. Caroms to Armstrong. Her throw to first is in time. Nice play there by Armstrong. The ball not hit all that hard. It had some wicked English on it. 1-0. And Knight swings and grabs it through the left side of base hit. It's going to roll all the way to the wall. Decker has scored. In to score is Tatum Edwards. MJ around second. On her way to third. Dives in there safely. A two-run triple to left center field for MJ. And the Huskers take the lead. Something just felt different in the sixth inning. I just, in the dugout just felt different. It was just a good vibe. And we had a talk yesterday about getting cozy with conflict and challenge and stuff. So I felt like we held that really well. My mind was going 100 miles per hour. I didn't know what to think. I was just excited to see my teammates happy and having that same fight and greediness that I know they have. I just loved it, every minute of it. Field drawn in. The pitch from Olsen. Here swings and hits it high in the air. Deep to left center field. And it is going to hit off of the wall. Knighton scores standing up. Muir into second with an RBI double. Three to one, Nebraska. One and two with one out. Tatum brings it home. Go Green swings and missed someone low in the zone. First strike three, the second out of the inning. Tatum brings it home. Abraham swings and misses at a changeup. She's down on strikes. And the Huskers win game one of the series by a final score of three to one. And the Huskers are to admit a game of Michigan in the conference standings. Quiet offensive night for five innings, but a cloud burst in the sixth that resulted in three runs. Back-to-back -back extra base hits for Knight and Muir. And the Huskers Wretch control this game. And they win it tonight by a final score of three to one. It's the 17, 36, and one Indiana Hoosiers against the 19th ranked 38, 14 Nebraska Cornhuskers. It is an absolutely perfect day for softball. The temperature is into the 70s. There's just some light wispy clouds around the ballpark today. Just a little bit of a breeze moving the flags in left center field. One on, none out, first pitch. But by Saucedo, first base side. Edwards to her left to grab it. She throws first just in time to get the out on Saucedo. There's one out. Edwards, 2 2 3 goes, swings and misses. And she's down on strikes. And Indiana is done in the top of the first inning. Tatum, the righty, brings it home. Gilgreaf swings and nubs it around home plate. It's fair, taken by Taylor Edwards. Her throw to first in time for the second out of the inning. Great toughness down the stretch. Two ball pitch, Armstrong swings, lines it to center, down for a hit. Armstrong with the first hit of the game for the Big Red. The 3-2 from Murphy. Decker swings and lines this one into right center field, down for a hit. She'll in on her way to third. She'll hang on there. It's a single to center for Decker. Brings home the 3-2. Muir swings and lines it one to left center field. It's gonna one hop the wall. Kylie around first. On her way to second, and she has a one-out double. Murphy's pitch. Austin swings and it's a high fly ball. Deep to left field, and it is gone! A two-run home run for Ernest! And Nebraska takes the lead! Two to nothing on Austin Ernest's second home run of the year. Nebraska bottom of the fourth, the 2-2. Stokes swings and lines this one. Deep to left center field. Abraham going back. She got turned around. The ball lands on the track, and Stokes is into second with a second double of the inning. First one on the way from Edwards. Swung on, slapped to short. Armstrong has it, goes to second, and Decker for one. That's all Nebraska will get. Saucedo runs very, very well. He fetches his first one. Edwards swings and blasts it. Deep left field. Gone. Three nothing, Nebraska. And it goes all the way up the berm and rolls to the outer wall here at Mullen Stadium. I've been working on a lot of things um, like individually and I kind of have lost like you know you're thinking too much like everything's gonna follow when you you know you put everything together so just the pitch came and I saw it and I was just I wanted to hit so bad I just wanted to move Kylie I wanted to do whatever I could to help the team whether it was move her or get a hit she had great presence today and she's you know she 
she works so hard and she um, she's just an inspiration to everyone and she you know she makes everyone you know want to push themselves even harder and she's always there for everyone no matter good or bad situations and so I think she had a great game and you know it was a great pitch that that girl hit and you know all you got to do is tip your hat to her but I mean she had a great day at the, at the mound today. We really want this for them and you know it's been a blessing to just you know be able to grow up behind them was you know it's been great to watch them and I can't believe how fast this has come for them and I want them to take in every moment and you know we're, we're here for them till the end we're gonna fight for them and you know we just we're so pumped and can't ready to play behind them for the last home games. One and one the count with two outs Edwards brings it home and Meyer swings at a change up grounds it's first right at Tyson who will take it to the bag in time to finish off Indiana here today in the second game of the series a one hitter from Tatum Edwards Nebraska shuts out the Hoosiers by a final score of three to nothing. It's the 17, 37 and one Indiana Hoosiers against the 19th ranked 39 and 14 Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's a fairly nice day for softball. It's a little breezy here at the ballpark today. The wind blowing strong right to left and slightly out the temperature at 61 degrees. Just some wispy clouds above us as we get ready for the Huskers against Indiana. Tatum's 1-1. Wallace swings, grounds to third, right at Knight, who has it, fires to first in time. And Indiana is done in the top of the first inning. The pitch to Decker, she swings, and then fly ball to short center. Fire coming in, she'll have to play it on the hop. Little flare single into short center for Decker. Batter is Jenna Abraham, who shows bump, bumps to third base side. Knight takes it, fires to second in time with Decker covering. Two outs here in the second for pitch. Runner goes, pitch taken for a ball, the throw to second, the tag by Decker is there! And they get her! Tyson swings and it's a chopper back up the middle and it's through for a base hit on into center field. Olsen brings it home. Decker swings and lines it past the third baseman on into left field. Haley Decker fights and fights and fights. Lines and deals. Tatum swings and it's a low flare into short left center and it's gonna get down for a hit. Tyson around third, she's gonna score standing up and the Huskers have cut Indiana's lead in half as Tatum Edwards drives in her 48th run of the year. So the count Olsen deals, Knight swings and chops it towards short, back into her right as the shortstop Saucedo, she'll have no play. It's an infield single for Knighton. Olsen delivers, Muir swings and it's a high fly ball, deep to left field, Abraham is back, it's good! A grand slam for Muir and Nebraska takes the lead! Five to two, Big Red, Muir with a grand slam. 3-1 from Betcheron. Knight swings and it's a fly ball. Right field fairly deep, but Lollich pulls up in front of it, and it lands in front of her for a hit. MJ to second, rounding to third. MJ to third, she's in there safely. It'll be a triple for Knighton. The win played havoc with that ball. One and one, the count, the pitch. Muir swings and lines this one to the left center field. It's over Abraham's club and rolling to the wall. Knighton has scored. Muir into second with a double. And Nebraska leads 8-2. One and two, the count. Edwards brings it home. Cogreve started to go and went around on a changeup over the inner part of the plate for strike three. 8-3, Nebraska, top of the seventh. Full count, two outs. Edwards brings it home. Meyer takes over the outside corner. Called strike three. And Nebraska finishes off the regular season with a sweep of Indiana. And now the Huskers turn their eyes toward Ann Arbor, hoping for a little help from Wisconsin in pursuit of the Big Ten Championship. I think when they scored, I think as a team we relaxed. If that that's weird, but I feel like we just we just kind of just sunk in and just started playing I guess I, there I don't know if we were all just too excited a little emotional but I mean we, we came back and got the win so we've gone through so much and having her back there it, it, every time I pitched it's been amazing and we joked about it yesterday I was like all right well if I strike the girl out looking the last time the last out I'm gonna run and I'm just gonna hug you and I mean it just so happened that it happened and I mean I wouldn't have wanted it to end any other way to be honest with you I was more happy than emotional, I think. I mean, I'm, I cry a lot, but I didn't cry until my video, and the videos, were they were amazing. What Coach Bell had to say was just, I don't know, just trying to take it all in, and just, I'm really happy right now.